Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Rochester Arena. Let's get started. Introducing first, from San Diego, California, winning at 272 pounds, Naya Jax. We have word that Naya Jax has something she wants to tell us. When I stood by Jade Cargill's side and I tried helping her out and I was a good friend to her, she would backstab me. She would try to take every moment away from me. She was selfish. She was in it just for herself. She didn't want me to have a successful career. She, all she did is care about herself. And so then when I am a good person and I don't cheat for her, she gets mad at me. So what do I do? I stand my ground. And so now I want to take that title away from Jade Cargill. I am no longer going to be her sidekick. I am by myself. And soon, Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler will figure out that they should have done the same thing as me. A storm <laughs> is coming. Jade Cargill is here. What a face-off from her and Nia Jax. She flexes her title to Nia. Jade Cargill says, Understand, to stand next to me is a blessing. Something you just can't understand. You think you're better than me, but understand that I am the brightest star that our company has. You stand me next to any wrestler backstage, and I bet you the regular consumer would say I'm the star. Nia says, not only that, if they stand you next to another person, they're going to say that you're the bigger <laughs> Oh my gosh, Shayna does not like her calling Jade that. They just took out Nia Jax. Sonya Deville's getting her fair share of shots on the Nia. And Shayna crushing her arm. Security comes to break all these women up. Jade and Nia are trying to get after each other. Cut it out. Nia... Do you want a title shot? <laughs> Rochester Arena, do you want to see Jade Cargill versus Nia Jax tonight? Yes, 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 yes. You've got it. Next on Power and Glory, it is Nia Jax versus Jade Cargill for the Power and Glory Women's Championship. The show goes to advertisement break, then returns where both women are in the ring. Nia going right after her, but she can't budge Jade Cargill. Jade can't knock over Nia, but Nia picks up momentum and knocks down Jade. And Nia takes Jade to the outside. She's getting a table. What is she looking to do? And goes through the table. What a move from Nia Jax. Nia is slinging things everywhere. She's setting up for something bad. It's Jade. And she takes Nia Jax through the table. This is why you never take your eyes off Jade Cargill. She's getting the ladder in the ring. I can only imagine what she's got going through her head. She's got her in the corner. She's running. And a big boot in the corner of the ring. She's getting her back up. And a huge corner splash. And a German suplex. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. And Nia Jax knocks her off the rope. She's setting her up for a bonsai drop. And she lands on her one, two, oh, kick out. She's setting up a ladder. Is she going to do a bonsai drop but on a ladder? But Jade stops her. What's she setting up for? I jaded onto the ladder. One, two, three. Jade Cargill retains and is still your power and glory women's champion. The crowd is obviously not very excited 
about the outcome of this match. But hey, it was a fair match. Neither Shayna Baszler or Sonya Deville got involved in this match. So it just kind of proves that Jade Cargill can do it by herself. She is still your power and glory women's champion. Currently, she seems very, very just unstoppable. I don't know who can take her down. What a great match from these two. They both put their all and they put their bodies on the line for this match.